Guys, this is a first look inside the largest Tudor store in the Middle East. So you know Tudor's association with divers. Well, they've got a nice, almost, well, I'm sure it's a life-size diver in the store. How cool does that look? Now, if you're a fan of the Tudor Black Bay Bronze, check this out. They've actually got a display here that shows you all the different stages to get to the final product, which is actually this over here. And if you want to try one on for size on the wrist, well, there's one. Check out here. The decor throughout is actually really, really nice, but I'm gonna show you a little space. It's actually a secret space. So over here, you have the public area. There's some seating area and there's some I guess uh, display items related to the brand's association with David Beckham over here, but also diving over here. But this is the VIP room. Check this out. If you're a VIP, you can come in here, you can relax in this space and you can just take it easy. Also, I absolutely love this picture of the Black Bay Blue. This is a video that I've already done on YouTube. You can check it out at the end of the video, but it's absolutely stunning watch, especially if you're looking for a steel sports model. So check this out. You've got a whole range of really awesome watches that you can actually see and possibly try on as well. You've got things like the brand new Black Bay Pro, which looks really, really nice over there. But I wanna show you this because this is really something that I haven't seen before. And that is this, the Chrono. How beautiful does that look? Okay, so this is one watch that I'm a massive fan of. I absolutely love the Chrono look on this. And this is actually the first time I'm trying this on the hand, but also I'll try it in a moment on the wrist. It is such a nice looking chrono. I know it has that similarity to the Daytona, but in its own way, this is quite a unique watch as well from Tudor. And here's what it looks like on the wrist. What do you think guys? Shall I cop? Or shall I just wait for my Daytona call? Whenever that's gonna happen. All right, I think I've changed my mind actually. The white dial, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me a lot of the uh, Panda Daytona. But again, this is unique in its own respect. White Dial, certainly a winner for me. This is quite interesting to see because you don't really see many people posting about this, but they do have a whole range of really nice steel Day date versions of a much more classic looking watch. And that blue dial looks stunning. <laughs> 